Hi everyone and welcome back to the Shannon Ivy Show. I'm recording this video like a month or so in advance of when it's coming up because I've read around 40 books now at the time this video is going up. I've read somewhere in the 30 to 40 book range when I'm recording this and when this video is going up and I feel like I'm at a good point in my reading year that I can kind of say like I can do the mid-year book freak up tag. So here we are. All of these questions are down below in the description as well as my 2023 video for this and my mid-year book freak out tags playlist. Go check out my previous video for this and the playlist. I have all the books right here and there is one photo of an ebook that's going to be coming up so let's get into this. The first question is the best book of the year so far and that for me is Her Radiant Curse by Elizabeth Lim. I adored this book and I definitely feel like it gave me the vibes that I needed at the time that I read it and I read it in my trying to find my first five star read of 2024 video so I'll link that down below in the description. Honestly this is what I needed at the time that I read it and I love Elizabeth Lim's writing and honestly it was so nice getting another book within the Six Crimes and Cranes universe. Next up is best sequel and for this it didn't it didn't mention a series like a certain length but that for me is volume 5 of The Remarried Empress which is a webtoon comic turned graphic novel. I love this series. I can't go too much into detail about this one because it is volume 5 did I? Yep I forgot the right one. Volume 5 but basically we're following the story of Navier the Empress and her husband the Emperor basically tells her like hey I want a divorce. She says okay I'll let you have a divorce if I get to remarry someone of my choosing. Honestly, I, I love this series so much and I really need the next volumes. Next up is best book rec you've received. This one wasn't necessarily a recommendation given to me by a specific person. Before I read it I just saw it a lot in the book of the month app and I saw it a lot on tables at Barnes and Noble and that is Clytemnestra by Cosenza Cassidy and honestly this was just what I needed when I read it and I loved it so much. Perfect Greek mythology retelling. It's something other than Hades and Persephone as much as I love them but this fantastic book rec. Next question is is new release you haven't read but want to and that for me is Fate Be Changed by Farah Roshan. I'm really trying to not read it like the thing is is that this sounds so counterintuitive. I'm really trying not to read it immediately even if I want to because I'm trying to get to some of the other books that have been on my TBR before I get around to this one but I'm really excited to read this. I'm really hoping to read it this year because why not read it in the year it was published and hype it up some more you know. Next up is most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Okay so I did have to do a little bit of research for this. I would probably have to say that a book that is coming out in October of 2024, The Hollow and the Haunted by Women Back Here Name. Camellia Rains. Camilla Rains. That honestly sounds super interesting to me because I don't know. Maybe it's the title and the book cover. I don't know what it is about this book, you know? And it is coming out October 22nd, 2024. Biggest disappointment, the next prompt for me was Ariadne by Jennifer Saints. There wasn't really anything bad about this book, and this is a very solid read, as I mentioned in my April 2024 reading vlog. It just, it didn't hit the points that it needed to hit for me and honestly it definitely could have been better. Next prompt, biggest surprise. That for me was Wretched by Emily McIntyre. Honestly like I was going into this as a popcorn read for me. A lot of Emily McIntyre's books, the Never After novels that I've read, Hooked, Scarred, and this one. I've been going to, into them as popcorn reads. Not necessarily something that like would be fulfilling or sustaining in any I don't want to say meaningful way because it, these are meaningful, sustaining in a meaningful way. At the time that I'm reading them, I'm really loving them, but it's not really looking at like Clytemnestra by Costanza Cassidy or The Disappearance of Astrid Ricard, which I'll talk about next, but it's like I'm not going into this with any serious expectations, with any high hopes, but this was a big surprise just because it is a Wicked Witch of the West gets her happy ending. Not that I don't like The Wizard of Oz, I really do. It's just I wasn't expecting to like this because I've never really liked The Wicked Witch of the West 
excluding the Wicked play. It's just Wicked Witch of the West has always kind of been like eh for me. The next prompt is new favorite author. I don't think I have any new favorite authors whether it's debut or new to me from this year. There have been some that have carried over from last year like Farah Roshan. I loved Almost There by Farah Roshan and she's also the one who wrote Fate Me Changed, the Meredith Twisted Tale. So she's a favorite. Elizabeth Lim is a favorite but again Elizabeth Lim carried over from last year. I'm like McIntyre, another favorite, but again carried over from last year. So, so far in 2024, I've not had a new favorite. Moving on to the next prompt, newest fictional crush. I'm going to be using the same book for the next three prompts, newest fictional crush, newest favorite character, and book that made you happy. All of that is from the book, The Disappearance of Astrid Bricard by Natasha Lester. Now, Astrid was a character who featured in last year's book by Natasha Lester, The Three Lives of Alex St. Pierre. And and we get to see Astrid's story in this book and Astrid definitely is a new favorite character. Hawk Jones is definitely a book boyfriend of my newest crush and this book made me so happy because every time Natasha Lester comes out with a new book I'm happy. It's gonna make me happy. It doesn't matter how tragic the story is. The next prompt is genre you've read the most from and this shouldn't be much of a surprise but that has been fantasy and at the time that I'm recording this it's 25 books for fantasy. The next prompt is favorite book to movie or tv show adaptation you've seen for this year. Out of the books that I've read so far this year none of them have had adaptations this year specifically. I could count Yashahime Half Demon Princess the manga but but the anime for that came first before the manga and I did watch the anime this year after I read the first four volumes and I really enjoyed Yashihime and then the one that I was also thinking of even though this is kind of cheating was Heaven Official's Blessing by Mo Xian Tongju probably butchering that and I'm so sorry. The reason why this one's a cheat is because I haven't read this but I watched the anime. I did a reaction to the anime for my anime expo vlog series and that video the reaction to it is coming out on the July 5th. This is a cheat because I haven't read the novels yet but I watched the anime. The next prompt is most beautiful book you bought this year or one you like to own. For me at least that book is All We Were Promised by by Ashton Latin Latimore. This was my book of the month for April. I love this. I don't know what it is about this cover. I think it's set, like the stark contrast between the colors. The next prompt is what book or books do you really need to eat, read by the end of the year? And I feel like there are a lot for me. I feel like I could say Ashahime Have Demon Princess Volume 5, which is out. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's out, but I don't have it yet. I need to slowly catch up a little bit more on the Inuyasha manga. I need to read Fate Be Changed. I need to read all we were promised but I did narrow it down to one is about to hold it backwards and for me that is the apothecary diaries specifically volume one because I keep seeing it I know there's an anime out I keep seeing the manga and I, I just need to read it I'm 90% sure I'll really like this and I've had volume one for a couple of months now on my shelf just sitting on my shelf so I need to read it next up is what format or formats are you gravitating towards or are there any that you are not gravitating to I've mainly been doing audiobooks and physical books, which I feel like is the answer I gave last year, but I'm not sure. But I haven't been reading as many ebooks as I would want to this year, sadly, because I love reading all formats of books audiobooks, physical, paperback, hardback, ebook. But just right now, physical books and audiobooks have been the easiest for me. I would say ebooks I'm not gravitating towards as much right now, sadly, but at the same time, it's fine. And then the last prompt is a book you read in the first half of the year that embodies your reading year or that you feel will embody your reading year. For me, I definitely think that it's a Twisted Tale anthology edited by Elizabeth Lim. So this is an anthology, a series of short stories and it's Disney Twisted Tale What Ifs. I really enjoyed this as a whole. There were a couple that I felt like could have been better as novellas at least or should have been novellas. Like they wouldn't have worked as good as a full-blown book but they would have worked better as 
novellas. Honestly, I definitely feel like this kind of captures how it'll be for me for the rest of the year. Reading, retellings, fantasy, maybe some romance thrown in there, historical fiction, obviously some Disney books thrown in there too. So I feel like this is a good embodiment of what my 2024 reading year will be. Okay, so that is it for this video. The questions, the prompts are down below in the description along with my 2023 video, the playlist, and I think I mentioned the that the April reading vlog would be down below in the description as well. I'll try to include the links for everything that I mentioned down below in the description. So one little announcement, just because this video goes up around this time, Anime Expo is coming up next weekend. Coming up next weekend, my Anime Expo 2024 vlog series is going to start going up Sunday. Sunday's video is a pre-Anime Expo video, and then the official Anime Expo 2024 vlog series will start on July 4th, which I think is Thursday. As with last year, the rest of July, all of July, will be focused on Anime Expo 2024 videos, and then in August we'll be getting back to the regularly scheduled content. I'm really excited for Anime Expo this year. It's kind of a surprise how quickly it's coming. I feel like it's always a surprise how quickly it comes. Like since COVID. Anyway, I hope you all stick around through my Anime Expo videos just because I had a lot of fun doing them. It should be really fun to do. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in Sunday's video.